All right, that was a little bit easier than I was making it out to be, but we still solve it. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. If you've gotten this far and you've been following along, uh, I I commend thee because um, I probably shouldn't have to say this, but I've been doing this entire thing blind, and oh, sweet mother of God, <laughs> sweet Jesus. Okay, okay, let's let's just. Oh boy, oh boy. Hmm, <gasps> this might be an issue. And hey, look at there's like a little hole for us to go through. I think there's one on the other side too, up on the top there. All right. Um, there's a yellow switch and a white switch. I think I think this may be where we have met our match, ladies and gentlemen. But we're gonna we're gonna take it slow and steady because that's what wins the race. And um. We're probably gonna make our way all the way back around and hold on. Oh, we totally can go under this awesome All right, let's take this inconspicuously placed gray block pull it out here So we can pull out this side of the London bus and boom sweet. Okay, so that pulls out all the yellows on the side there huh. All right, cool And we'll go in through here and we'll actually ride through ooh, the other side of the bus. Here we go we're on this side Oh, and there's a very conspicuous uh, maroon switch up there. We we'll probably do something with that. I just kind of want to explore a little bit and see what we can do, because, sweet Jesus, this is kind of amazing. Okay, so we need to get up to that white switch, so I'm guessing we'll probably have to pull this one out a little bit more. You can't do anything in there. Yeah, this is where the camera is going to be a little problematic, I feel like. Because you can't really zoom in and kind of look at it three-dimensionally. Oh, and I'm walking into class there. Excuse me. Okay. So that needs to be out like that. I guess nothing we really need to do about this, I'm guessing. Oh, can't even pull that out for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Now, we just need to get up, and I'm assuming with this, but can we even... Hmm. I feel like that has to be something. That has to be something. I don't even know if we can get up there any other way. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, we can pull that out. Okay. That seems like something we shouldn't be able to do, but... God. Okay. Alright, let's go over here. Go out through the other side. And once we pull out all the whites here, let's listen. Let's hear it. There it is! The child is alive! Okay. We just need to get up there, and we're good. Oh boy, this is scary. This is scary. <laughs> okay, how do we even get up there, though? Oh, I guess right there. Duh. We can just, like, would look for three seconds else and we'd find it. We made it! Oh my god! Number 99 has been completed! Oh man. And that was only level 4 difficulty. By god, do you guys remember level 5 crash modes? God damn it, those were, like, the hardest. Okay, let's see what the final one is. Oh, let's see. Oh, Jesus. Sweet Jesus. Oh my god, for number 100, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Fuck this. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of things going on here. We've got an orange switch. We've also got fishes in the water. My god. Okay. Okay, game. If this is gonna be your idea of a hard puzzle, then so be it. We're gonna solve the hell out of this. We just need to remember where everything is. It just seems like... We need to climb up and around, is what it seems like. And I think we can start from over here, actually. This has to be our starting spot, because this, this is the only way we can get up. So we'll pull these out all the way. Make ourselves a nice little staircase here. And I guess we can keep going around just in case. Yeah, maybe if we pull out that black one later. No, because we can still go around here. Okay. And yeah, we can't even make our way up from this particular point. So... Let's try this, actually. Okay. I don't know if you guys can tell, sorry. Um, I'm, I just turned on the 3D slider, and I don't know if you can really tell in the footage, sometimes it warps the image for a brief second, but it looks much uh, more daunting now. And also there's uh, copious amounts of slowdown. That's not from the 3D, I think. I don't think it's allowed to do that. I know a lot of uh, Pushmo Customs had uh, slowdown, but this 3D, I'm kind of digging the 3D now, actually. There we go. Alright, let's, uh... So we're gonna need to go over there eventually, which will lead to this whale? Actually, hold on, this might be easier than I thought it is. 
Okay, because we just need to climb up on his back there, and then his... Okay. Okay, I think I actually just solved it. This is not that difficult at all. I don't know why I was freaking out before. Okay, so first, let's go pull out this orange, and we're going to need to walk our way over here. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Uh, let's pull this out first, so we can pull this out. There we go. And now we need to, uh, I guess, probably pull this L out. I feel like we'll just leave it out, I guess. There we go. Okay. Now go along this side, and we need to warp around this corner here. But to do that, we need to pull out this other mini L switch. Uh, let's do... Oh, I can't even do that. What the hell? Okay, let's do this then. We will switch sides and pull out like that. Okay, now we can wrap around. Okay. Yeah, I think we might have just solved it. Because now we can hit that orange switch. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see. I'm thinking way too far ahead here. <laughs> there we go. There's too many, like, mooning co mooning? moving components. So the only orange we have is that goldfish there. And we can just... Okay, I think I see. As long as we have a way back up, we will be fine, ladies and gentlemen. Onto the belly, or the back of that whale. Okay, so we need to pull this out for the child, for the kids. And now we pull out this final backside. There we go. Okay, I think we just solved it. All we need to do is make our way back up, but we also need to push this in because that's blocking our way. Okay. See, you wouldn't think it immediately, but the bottom screen is extremely useful in this game. It's like much more useful than I thought it was in push mode. And with this, I think we've just potentially solved it. I was like, yeah, we did it! <laughs> oh, the booziest of beat-em-ups! Oh man, that was one happy-ass jig. Oh man, I can't believe you solved that monster! You're me I know I'm amazing. And the fact that I did that, like, on my first time kind of speaks volumes, maybe. I don't know. But there we have it! Oh my god, that was amazing. Oh. Okay, so we saved all the kids. Oh, that's amazing. Dun, 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 music. So that is all 100 children that were stuck inside of the crazy contraptions of Stretch Mo Lens, I guess, attractions. <laughs> oh man. Now we've got ourselves a cutscene again. We haven't seen this in 10 episodes. Oh my god, it's the malfunctioning robot! Oh, that's Boppo. Do you guys remember there was a plot to this game? Oh. <laughs> Milo, watch out! Oh my god, he just stopped that asshole in his tracks! He was like, yeah, talk to the end, asshole. I started malfunctioning. What a dreadful mess I've caused. I won't make you put up with such a troublesome old robot any longer. Oh, poor Rosie the robot. I'll leave at once, so you needn't worry about this sort of chaos again. No. What? Oh, no, don't say that. We can reprogram you. <laughs> Reprogram you. We can always fix you up again, right? We can make you faster, better, stronger, smarter, even better. But he's a safety hazard, so... I hear just a, hear a talking, walking lawsuit on our hands. I hope the power of friendship prevails over all, ladies and gentlemen. Especially when it comes to sentient robots. You're willing to forgive me for putting all of your children at life and death risk? They're like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Anything to get us out of doing that stupid PE homework. Oh boy. Yeah, we are great. We are heroes. Just for one day. Aw. Oh, look at them. <laughs> so long. I shall be far more reliable guide in the future. You have my word. I'll endeavor to make every visit henceforth as pleasant as possible. He's like, well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> That's my job, asshole. Very well, if you please do come visit us again. Uh, maybe never in the future. Because I saved all the key. I'm just... There goes Mallow. He's like, peace out. I'm so creepy. Awesome. And with... Okay, so there are staff credits indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of Mallow's Playtime Plaza. And... Ah, it's quite a depressing thing. So we press L to shoot. Well, not to pee. And we shoot stars. So just like in Pushmo World, I guess we're just collecting stars. We just need to shoot them into the things instead of like tapping random things on the screen. Huh. Interesting. 
So this was pretty, this was pretty decent as far as like introductory DLCs go. I think I mentioned this before, but I think the price per puzzle in this particular expansion is less than the other ones, but it might be because they were all significantly more easy. As you guys could tell, I solved them all on my first time, but in the future, when and if we do some of the later things like the Ness Expo and things where things are exponentially more difficult, uh, it might take a couple more tries and there might be a couple of re-records here and there, but that remains to be seen. Oh my god, are they terrorizing him in the background there? <laughs> it's kind of what it seemed like. <laughs> oh boy. So in uh, Pushma Worlds, when you collected all the stars, you got uh, a stamp. And here, I have no idea what we're going to get because I don't think they've implemented stamps into uh, 3DS games. So, and maybe you can come back to the credit screen at some point. I don't know. I really do like this color scheme though, huh? It's just going darker and... This song... It's very pleasant. Oh, 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 there we go. Oof, solved. All solved. Great, grand job. So with executive producer Toru Iwata, we have finished. Excellent. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> And fireworks! Oh, Fourth of July was three days ago, assholes! Oh, <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, man. I can't believe we did that. Oh, and it's almost been half an hour! <laughs> Thank you so much for playing my game! You're welcome. I appreciate you for selling me this DLC. But I don't know, for this particular game, I think it's actually... Kind of neat, actually. Oh, you did it! You saved all the children who were pla trapped in Playtime Plaza. I can't, really can't thank you enough for all of your help. <laughs> to show my appreciation that comes from my robot heart, and congratulate you for clearing all the stretch bonus traction. Ooh! Oh, we get a lovely completion award. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. If you collect four of these, you can visit Stretch Land's hardest area? It's a very special, perilous peak. Oh my god. Okay. There is actually... Oh, that is awesome. I should really let you get back to it. Oh man, I didn't know that. I thought it was just like the welcome, like the welcoming attractions and then the four DLCs and that was it. But that is fantastic. That's actually a really cool, like... Oh. That's kind of awesome, I think. That you need to complete all four of the DLCs in order to get the Perilous Peak. So it's like, even more bang for your buck. Oh, I'm excited now, you guys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, but next time on Stretch Mo, whenever that time comes, after completing Miles Playtime Plaza, good night, my good friend. We've got ourselves Poppy's Sculpture Square. And this, we've got more diverse group of animals and objects here to deal with, which is going to be scary, especially that goddamn goose in the back with the bow tie. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope to see her next time for more Stretch Mo. I'll talk to you guys then.